Hello, uh, I'm happy to be with you again. I just have something that I wanted to share with you. You know, last time I shared with you about the, the glassware and some of the setups that we've done with that. So now I wanted to show you how to do some of those setups, the way I do it. And, and one of the things I did, I had someone make this little wooden stand for me here so that I could pretend it's a table so I can hang my doilies over it. Now this is a, I, I want to challenge you to look around your house because you're going to find some things that you'll think, oh, that would be neat in a setup. So this is a doily or a tablecloth that Gordy's mom made. This is his grandma's light. This is my mama's pearls, her hanky glasses and then a little tablet thing that she wrote notes in and then a couple hymns that were favorite that she'd torn out and you know in the 50s she was always wearing this little silk flower of some color sometimes red all different colors but today I chose a white one so that was mama's and this is just a neat setup you know um it's just always good to do things from an actual thing that you can see. That's why I like doing plain air outside because you get the best colors. We can take photographs of these things and you do need to take photographs. Now like those ones that I showed you last time, a lot of those have flowers in them and those things wilt. So you want to take photographs and what I do is I shut off all the lights in the house, everything, and I do it when it's night, when it's totally, totally dark and I have this little light that I use and I put it on here and then take a photograph of it. Um, it's better if you can paint as much as you can from the actual object. But when you have flowers, those things are going to wilt. And so you want to have a photograph that you can refer to later. Always move things around till you get the right thing so that you've got light and shadow. Because you'll not do a good painting if you don't have light and shadow. So always keep track well this is just a little light that my husband had in the in the garage okay and then i'm going to show you another one i i just want to challenge you you can do so much with doing a setup now this seems funny you probably wonder what on earth is that stuff on this is a cardboard box and i just simply took it and i put the masking tape around the sides so that I could set it up like this so I had something to do my setup on. Now this is my husband's setup. I thought, oh it'd be neat to do some of his things. He was in the Air Force. So here's his Air Force hat. Here is here is letter jacket from school. There's his baseball. He worked in the gold mine in South Dakota. There's a rock. One of his hankies. Here's his little testament to put in his pocket when he was in the service. And here's a harmonica and his knife. All of these things are that are special. Now this, this is his first belt buckle while he lived on a ranch in Nebraska. So that was special to him. So I've done this to, uh, and then I'll do the lighting the same way. So I want to challenge you. You can do some awesome setups. Some of them you may do with flowers, but now the most of our flowers are gone unless we go to the shop to get some flowers. So you can do some neat setups. Start looking at things in your house that would just be neat to do a painting of. It may be something that's gonna be a memory for you or for your grandkids. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you.